World Championships debut? How excited are you? Uh, extremely. I mean, I, if I'm honest, it was 50-50 to me even getting here and being a part of the team. Like as of recent, with my training and things, like I've definitely, I've definitely feel like I'm I'm worthy of being here. But I can't I can't wait to just get out in front of the crowd and just do my thing and hopefully perform exactly how I should. So I guess that starts at holding camp, doesn't it? Being part of this team, with yeah. incredible facilities. Tell me how this sort of week's gone so far and what you're looking to get out of it. Well, turning up and uh, ending up using the print, the Crown Prince of Dubai's like personal complex has just been absolutely amazing. I mean, I'm used to you know the basic tracks back home. So coming <coughs> coming from that and doing this has just been a complete different leap and having the, the access to all the different staff is just amazing and as well as the fact that I've always been an isolated uh, performer and isolated um, trainee. Um, I've, I've never, I've, I, I came from an 800 meter group training with Sal, um, Sally Gunn or John Big um, where it was all 800 meter guys and now I've moved over to be with David Zakin who I again this year have trained by myself. So just having people around the track and having the whole team there is just amazing. So I'm really in my element. It's not just bodies, is it? It's, it's, it's like it's the world's best athletes, but obviously Britain's best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Special to, and I've seen this week everyone's sort of been backing each other, everyone's been, been sort of cheering each other on in training. So, so not only to have people around you, but to have a supportive British team. Oh yeah, I mean it's amazing. I finished a, a great session yesterday, and you know some of the athletes who so obviously recognise that came over to me, and you know you get fist bumps, high fives, like all this kind of stuff, and it's just the camaraderie around it is just completely different. And it's amazing because it makes you feel, it gives you a moral boost, morale boost. Um, yeah, so loving it. Yeah, and the four by four squad. Have you done much relay before? Uh, as a four by one runner, yes. Uh, so it's obviously slightly different. <laughs> um, the, the the practices uh yeah the the elements of trying to uh, fend off and um getting the baton and all kind of thing uh, are very different but i think the majority of um of where it's hard is your individual part of the race so there's it's not i wouldn't say it's it's hard but it's definitely different yeah perfect i'm still sort of learning about who you are tell me about your background and i know you're really successful junior career so, so just tell me about sort of your, your evolution i guess as an athlete so my evolution as an athlete, I came from a strong, I'm from a strong rugby family. I went, um, I played um, Harlequins up until I was about 16. Um, and I also got into the south of England and I, um, and I did some of the training camps for them, which was amazing. And I've, I've always been a, a passionate rugby guy, um, but it came to a fork in the road and I had to either choose to get big um, and get powerful and, and play the rugby or get fast and do the sprinting. And after 16, I chose, I chose that um, sprinting was probably the, the, better, the better path. And because I could always go back to rugby because I've, I've got my speed, I can always get big again. But as soon as you get smashed up on a rugby pitch, you cannot go back to sprinting. So I, I chose. And it, so far, I'm doing all right. So I'm happy. Fantastic. Tell me about the 4x4 squad as a whole. You've also got a couple of experienced guys in Martin and, and, and Rabbi Yusuf as well. And, and the likes of, of Lee and Cameron coming in at your stage, sort of just coming into the team. So tell me about how that dynamic's gone this week. Yeah, no, it works really well. I mean, as a relay squad, like everybody's, nobody's going to shove you away and isolate you. It's not how things work. Otherwise, the four, the four squad breaks down. Um, so yeah, it's worked really well. Obviously, Rooney's been a massive mentor to myself. And even before the training camp, he's, he's sort of come up to me. And I used to do my 200s a bit more and be like, you're going to be a 400 meter runner. And I'd be like, no, I'm not. And now I'm here and he's a bit like, <laughs> I told you. Um, so that's, that's amazing. Um, but obviously even like Rabber and, uh, you know, even the, the younger guys are very supportive and, you know, we're all in it together. So every training session, there's there's morale around the around the guys and yeah I love it. Just finally to pull on that GB vest for the world watching in Doha. What does that mean to you? Oh God, oh it's uh, it's going to be insane. I mean I I I I've obviously worn a lot of um, GB vests going from youth up to junior and so on, but to pull on an actual senior vest and to perform on the world stage in front of well the world. Um, at the top level that you can get to is just incredible. And that is, it's the pinnacle so far of my sprinting career. It doesn't matter how well I do, hopefully I will do well, but no matter what it is, it is senior. It is no longer just age group champs. If you win, you are, you are the top. 
there's no there's no like oh you're just under 20s it is like you are at that at, at that high 